Now, great wildlife photography requires a number of skills, amongst them patience and endurance and the ability to cope with being in a really uncomfortable condition for days on end. Richard Costin has all of those qualities and his reward for spending up to nine hours a day in temperatures as low as minus 10 in the far north of Norway was an extraordinary sequence of photos showing a battle between a golden eagle and a white-tailed eagle. Claudius Sebasis has been to meet him for tonight's special report. Wrapped in several sleeping bags near a fishing village in Norway, Richard Costin set about getting a great portrait of a golden eagle. But within minutes, he was photographing an almighty food fight. This fantastic blizzard suddenly came down when there was no eagles there, so as is often with wildlife photography, I was cursing my luck, perfect conditions and nothing came along. And then down came this golden eagle, so I took a few nice portrait pictures, which I thought, anyway, I was quite, oh, that's good stuff. And then... Um, the white tail came down and there was the scuffle and they said, as is so often with action shots, um, particularly you just shoot on instinct and uh, luckily I managed to get the shots and they were in focus as well. White-tailed eagles once flew wild over the British Isles, but they were blamed for killing lambs and shot, poisoned or trapped until in 1918 they were wiped out. The sky is a six-year-old white-tailed sea eagle, just like the one in Richard's photos who got the fox. Christopher Belsey is a bird handler who looks after both white-tailed and golden eagles. He was fascinated by Richard's photos. I think it's absolutely great to see, uh, you know, two types of eagles squabbling over a little bit of food. I mean, both the golden eagle and the white-tailed eagle, they're, they're both scavengers, so, you know, if one of them finds a little bit of dinner and the other one wants a bit, uh, they, they'll come along and try and eat it. Richard has only been a wildlife photographer for three years. Getting a great shot is a tricky business. We did a trip to British Columbia last year looking for grizzly bears, but then the salmon run was late, so we saw all of two bears in two weeks, which is a shame, but it happens. But luckily on this trip, uh, it all came together. After the eagles, next on Richard's list is killer whales in Argentina. Claudia Sabazis, BBC South East Today, Longfield.